the spine is designed very efficiently when it comes to the amount of space it uses to accomplish its job. The spinal cord and thousands of nerves that attach to it fit tightly in the spaces between the bones which make up the spine. So when there is unexpected cell growth in the area because of a tumor, it can be very disruptive. Symptoms of spinal tumors are similar uh, to stenosis. Patients will come in with a variety of nerve-related complaints, typically weakness or pain radiating into a limb or numbness in an area of the limb. Uh, this may or may not be associated with back pain. Uh, typically when it is associated with back pain, it makes it easier to find. We would get a, a CAT scan or an MRI and usually make the diagnosis of a spinal tumor. These are quite rare though. Treatment options for spinal tumors are typically surgical. Uh, when the spinal tumor is large enough or in an area that is causing significant neurologic deficit uh, or pain, weakness, numbness, tingling in an extremity, then we typically excise the tumor or make room for the tumor and that may be followed up with, uh, depending on the tumor type, radiation therapy or chemotherapy to shrink the tumor and alleviate symptoms.